Well, the welder just left. He finished buttoning up that uh, disc bank cutter back together so we can get into the shop. Uh, we're about to head on to the shop as he is. We've done finished all the disc bank cutting. We'll probably unhook this. And as far as the plans go for it, I have no idea. They change them up so much. Uh, y'all just have to see whenever they decide to do something. But I'll see y'all at the shop. Well, we just got the tractor back to the shop. Uh, we'll probably get done hooking that tomorrow. I'm going to go inside the shop and show you all some of the stuff we got done. We had to do a little modification by cutting those plates off every unit to make these mount up. But they are going to mount up. They're just not bolted all the way right now, so it's sitting a little crooked. And then that'll be out of here. We're tearing down the lawnmower over here. We got the cooler on this truck and fired it up. <laughs> and we obviously didn't have something right. So we're gonna get a lot of oil dry out on that. What had happened was when we had put this gasket on right there on the other side of that cooler right here. It had tweaked like that and we couldn't see it because it's on the back side of it blocking off some of that oil flow right there and it was coming out right there skeeting past so all we have to do is get this bolt that goes in right here retap we're going to retap that and throw it back on and hopefully we can get it back out the shop but it made a huge mess but we'll, we'll clean it up and get it out of here and That'll be out of here tomorrow. And I think we'll be hooking that tractor up to a Disterra. I'm not too sure because that's just how stuff goes around here. You don't know what's going to be hooked up and what's not. So I think it's going to be hooked up to a Disterra tomorrow. And we're going to be disting up some of that V-Rip land. And we've got to finish up that little bit of V-Ripping down the road. And we'll be done. We did get every one of those row cleaners mounted up on the planter today. They bolted right up after we cut those pieces off. Now we're testing out our planter with these new uh, row cleaners on it to see how they do. We're just kind of getting an idea of how they work. <laughs> There's the uncle. But so far I'm liking them. It's, it's cleaning up the row real nice. It'll be... I think they'll be beneficial this year. Now I'm at my buddy Will's farm. He's loading some turkey litter. He spread it out to put his corn on this year. Just show y'all some footage of him loading it up. got the spreader loaded up uh, he's got one more pile left that'll be a whole trailer load he's gonna be done for the day <laughs> I think he's just gonna scoop that up I, I think he's gonna load it into the spreader it's been too wet to get in the field today y'all so instead we're putting on this light kit on our planter it, beams down light down there so whenever these are spraying at night time it illuminates the fog or the spray pattern itself so you can see if it's spraying well or not uh about got them all wired up all i've got is a couple of these hots to wire in and then we're gonna wire to the tractor and i ought to be able to show y'all what it's like whenever they're lit up i got the uh light kit on the planter i'm really happy with it it's gonna look really cool whenever the nozzles are actually putting out uh, mist and it blends in with it 
because it'll turn the whole mist cloud into a giant green fog. But what it'll do is it'll kind of shadow around what's going on back here. And I can see if there's a nozzle acting funny. I do have the red balls up there, but it's just an extra peace of mind. And I mean, it looks cool now. Come on. But I think I'm going to end up doing the planner right there in them too, if I like how these do. Uh, time will only tell. Uh, I think they'll work out great, but I appreciate y'all watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.